Hello everyone and welcome to New Winchester Farms. Today we're going to just be going through and cleaning up the barn. Um, once again, we're on baby watch, so hopefully by tonight we'll have some baby goats. I should have done it before, but oh well. Feels a lot cleaner in here. That's my aim and goal, to have it clean in here. Come on. The, the door handle's not going to get you nothing. Come on. Whoa. Oop. <laughs> okay. There we go. As you can see, she loves her bottle. She's gaining weight real good. We're up to about whew, two and a half ounces. We're close to three. And we're spreading the feedings just a little bit further apart also. So more like every three hours now instead of every two hours, which is very nice throughout the night. And it's all gone. All right, let's get back in the basket before you squish your tummy. Well, the time has come for Miss Rainy to give birth. I just was out cleaning the barn today, and um, I... She actually wasn't making any noise. I mean, you can hear someone bawling in the background, but that's not her. Uh, I just noticed she was walked over here, and I saw her pushing a couple times. So it looks like we're ready for baby time. And Well, guys, that was difficult. I didn't think that kid was going to come out. We'll go and whop her. Here comes number two. This one should come out a lot faster. Um, I don't really like the color of that bag, though. Oh, but he's alive because he's wiggling. Well, it looks like it's wiggling. Okay. This, my folks, is where you've got to intervene. See all the the yellow in here? That is poop. And you do not want the baby inhaling that. So that's why you see me moving quickly to get this meconium. Basically what happened is the baby was under stress and it pooped inside of its sack. So I'm just quick. Uh, trying to clean up the. I'm gonna think this is where I put the sack. So I'm just gonna go through and uh, I want to get as much as this uh, meconium that. My stolen gets too small. Thank <laughs> you. 
So as you can see, I moved pretty quickly with that other baby. Um, with the color of the sack, I was really worried. Um, I could see right away that the baby had pooped in the sack. And um, when the baby poops in the sack, they can inhale that. And that will make them very, very, very sick. Oh, just what I was hoping to see. Little girl is drinking like a charm. Little boy hasn't yet. Um, I just got him some pain meds, and I got Mama some pain meds. The vet told me to go ahead and give him about a tenth of a cc of banamine, <clears throat> and then Mama got one cc. So hopefully it'll help him feel a little bit better, because that was some pretty mean pulling I had to do. But... We'll give him a chance to get up here in a couple moments and uh, give the medicine a chance to work. Then we'll give him, uh, I'll get him up again to see if he'll eat. Finally, yay, little boy's drinking. I think his, he can move his head a little bit better now that the pain meds are kicking in. Because he had a hard time, he'd cry every time he'd try to lift his head up. Poor boy, had it head... When I reached in the first time, his head was bent all the way back over his back. So, the vet said also tomorrow I need to stop and get some steroids for him and mom if he still acts like he's sore lifting his head up. So, I find it just kind of interesting how my dairy breeds... Um, I noticed it when I had Nigerian dwarfs, especially the mini La Manchas and the La Manchas. Um, when they're close to giving birth, you see how she's just licking and licking and yawning and yawning. They do that even more than the boar goats do. And I would just be curious to know if um, that's how other breeds of dairy goats are. Even my alpines do that. And my boars just don't do this amount of licking. They just lick and lick and lick. Well guys, that went uh, with my little mini La Mancha dough. That went uh, quite interesting. It actually went south there for a little bit. So I actually uh, tried for a while to help her because she went the 30 minutes and there was no progress. Um, so I felt inside and there was just a head there, um, couldn't really, there, there was, and I could not get my hand past the head. I could push it in, but it was really hard to get it past it, and the legs, um, there was just no way I could reach the legs. It was a very, very large kid, um, so I called my vet, and my vet being the great vet that she is, she was like, well, just bring her on in, so I loaded her up in the back of the pickup. We got in, um, and she pulled for a while. She kept trying to get the a leg forward. It was a little bit difficult, and uh, but she did it. After a little bit of work, she got it out, and uh, it was a very, very tight fit, but we managed to get the little buckling out. Um, both him and Mama are doing okay. Mama has a, a tear in her... Um, I guess it would be close to where the cervix is. There's a bit of a tear. However, the vet said it's not too bad, so it, hopefully we just got to use antibiotics. Uh, we'll just have to use antibiotics and some pain medicine to help her so that way she doesn't get infection and also to keep her pain, just pain management. Just in case anybody wanted to know what a mini mancha slash boar looks like. Cutest little stinking thing ever. Look at how big he is compared to his mom.